Now is the car on? No, nope, it's not, not on. Totally off. Put your foot on the brake and then hit the blue power button. Imagine that's configurable. What's Startup that? Startup sound. Um, yeah, actually it might be. If you go in the config, you know, I haven't really played mm. with the sound. Um, well, I guess I don't really need a seatbelt. You never know with me at the wheel. No, we recommend it because, uh, <laughs> well, I actually require it. Um, yeah, okay. So you're in, uh, basically you started up. We got nine miles left of a battery range. So go ahead and put your foot on the brake there, and then you can shift it out of park with this up there in the, um... All right, before we do the that, yeah. is the climate control on? Doesn't no, I don't have... Like it. Um, do you mind if I hear it? I mean, I, I have one on order. So okay. I'm very curious about... Oh, what it sounds that... like? Yeah, well, what we recommend, if you got the heated seat option, did you get that, or just yes. the gas? Okay, what we recommend is um, that you use your heated seats first, because that's going to be more efficient. Right. Because um, you'll notice right here, if I put your heated seat on... Okay, you know, uh -huh. put both of them on, and we're in fan mode only, so you are getting so you'll start getting some heat through your seat. Um, still, it's at zero percent, and it didn't take any of your mileage down. Hmm. If you go into eco, it's going to take twenty five percent efficiency out of the system. Hasn't taken anything out of there yet. Eco is pretty friendly. We've um, designed it to where it doesn't want to take anything out. So even at that. You're still, uh, yeah. probably because I And this auto, like, uses your seat heat and the... Yeah, if you go to auto, you know, this will start using your seat automatically. Um, but if I go to comfort... That's the see, full tilt. Yeah, now look at your, see it says 6? Oh, yeah. And look, I'm at 82%. I'm, I'm, you know, really driving down. But if I go to eco, yeah. it comes back down here. Oh, so it's predicting based mm -hmm. on how much it's using right now. Mm -hmm. It's not just it a, back up to yeah. eight. Huh. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, so we're gonna. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay. Now I hear a sound. Yeah, that was just uh, um, probably your brakes to build up some brake pressure. Okay. In your pedal, and then just go. Oh. What? Well, there you go. Sorry, I, the parking <laughs> brake was on, but as soon oh, as you I take off, it will. Uh, it, it was. I just hit the button just in case. the ball thing that I saw. Oh, okay. Here, if you stop here, you can um, hit config underneath the... Um... Yep, there you go. Ah, okay. Hmm. You can take one more lap. Yeah. Doesn't look like you have too much of one. weird. <laughs> Takes a little used to, yeah. No, it's cool. What's uh, not weird about it is um, not going to the gas station. That's right. a pretty good feeling. You never have to think, oh, do I have to get gas? No, I'm charged up. Where do I see the gear? Okay, it's just there. Mm -hmm. right. Now if you put it in neutral, what's the effect of that? Like, okay, I'm free rolling. Yep, just like the normal. Now if it's in drive, it will go. It, has it a creeps. Little, yep. We're going uphill a little bit, but right. We wanted to make it. I mean, you could do it. We just wanted to make it just as a, you know, just like a real vehicle. So there's no transition going from this bolt to the. Yeah, that'll set it. Is it
ride. <laughs> you can take another turn if you want. I don't see anybody out here. So you feel a little bit of that through the brake pedal, it's and this is your charging screen. What this does is you have uh, three modes to charge it. Um, it's right now set to immediately charge it, and um, what you can do is uh, in three modes, you can set it based delay based on departure time. So what this means is you can uh, mm. set your departure time. You can edit it for any day of the week. Um, so if you have different departure times, you can mm. set it specifically. And then it will charge it. Now, um, based if you're plugged in at a 120 volt or 240, it knows um, which one you plugged it into and when to start it. Uh, and then the third one is the departure time, but then we factor in your electric rates that you get. So these prices, are, these times are going to be different because your electric rates... Eventually this car is going to pull away, so I wanted to get it silently moving off. I happen to know this one only has four miles left on the electric range, but uh, I don't think we'll be lucky enough to hear the, uh, the engine start. 